Hi you guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I'm here today to give you the recipe I use for my own deodorant. And this is a chemical-free deodorant that I have found to be a wonderful replacement for any other deodorant. Now for years and years and years and years, I used a typical antiperspirant. And there have been concerns about deodorants and antiperspirants over the years because of the use of aluminum in the product. A lot of people have thought that it could be a cause for getting dementia. There's research that I have found of late that kind of says it really doesn't cause that, but I've always been a little bit leery about it. And because we use deodorant so often and directly on the skin, I think why, you know, why take any chances? So I've also tried other kinds of deodorants that are chemical free, natural kinds of things, no aluminum. And I've just found that when I use those, I just end up stinking by part way through the day and I'll smell something and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's me. So, but this is, this does not do this. And I'm telling you that I could even use this deodorant um, like in the morning on a particular day and then say I go through the whole day and the next day in the morning I get up and I'm, you know, I am doing stuff around the house and halfway through the day I still haven't taken a shower and I still am absolutely fine, no smell at all. Um, so, so anyway, it really is a long lasting kind of deodorant. So it's very simple. All you need to do is you have to have a couple of kinds of essential oils and I use Young Living. In fact, um, one of the one of the two of the essential oils in this recipe are specifically from Young Living essential oils. If you're interested in checking out Young Living, I put my referral link in the space below. The best way to get started with Young Living is to get their premium starter kit, which comes with 11 different essential oils and a diffuser and a few other things in there to try out of theirs. All of the essential oils in this recipe, except for one, will be in the premium starter kit. There's one additional one that you'd have to, to order. It's really important to use high quality essential oils because you can get some, some very low quality, inexpensive, essential oil and then say, you know, essential oils don't work. I'm not seeing any results. Well, it's because you're not getting high quality essential oils. So um, the other thing that you're going to need in addition to, well, you're definitely going to need to get a roller ball and this is a big one. It's not one of those tiny little roller balls. And I will put a link in the space below to where I got a set of these on Amazon. So this has got a nice big ball on it. So it's it's close to the size of what that you would find in a roll-on deodorant. But very simple to make. So, so the ingredients you need are lemon essential oil, tea tree essential oil, a blend by Young Living called Thieves essential oil and then, and then also another blend by Young Living called Purification. In addition to those four essential oils, you're going to need baking soda and fractionated coconut oil. Now fractionated coconut oil is liquid coconut oil. There's one kind that the unfractionated is kind of a solid unless it gets warm and then it turns to liquid. But as soon as it gets cooler, it will, um, it, it will, turn more solid and I made the mistake the first time of using unfractionated coconut oil and then every time I went to use my deodorant I had to like warm it up in my hands or nuke it in the microwave because it would get solid so it's just easier to get the liquid coconut oil you can find this kind of coconut oil in uh, grocery stores and health food stores and you can get it online too I'll put a link in the space below for you so you can pick up all the stuff you need for this all right, so it's super easy. You start by taking your empty bottle and putting in your essential oils. And so you're going to need eight drops of thieves, eight drops of tea tree oil, and eight drops of lemon essential oil. And then in addition to that, you're gonna use four drops of purification essential oil blend. Then after you put those drops in there, you put in one and a half tablespoons of your coconut oil. And then finally, 
and and it's easier when you're putting in like when you take your essential oil bottles you can drip them straight in it's pretty easy to do that i use a funnel to put in the, the coconut oil and then i also use the funnel to put in the baking soda and you need one tablespoon of baking soda just kind of dump it into the funnel and tap it in so it all goes in then you take the roller ball part and you pop that into the top make sure it's nice and tight and then just give it a good shake and it's ready to use now what i find is that when i get up in the morning and i'm going to use this that the baking soda has typically settled on the bottom and so you have to give it a good shake and just make sure you mix all that in if you just go and start putting it on right away then you're only going to get the oils on your skin and you're not going to get the benefit of baking soda which helps in this whole deodorizing process so this is like i said a really great deodorant even my husband has used it i make it up for him and he's found it to be a really great thing as well and i have i have not found any natural deodorant that works as well as this one and i would strongly recommend that you try it so like i said there will be uh information in the space below where you can get the different ingredients for this and in addition to that there's a link in the space below to my blog at my flagstaff home it's myflagstaffhome.com and i'll have a blog post there with the directions for making this if that would be easier for you to hang on to or maybe you want to pin that on pinterest so you can refer to it in the future but give this a try it is a great great deodorant so hopefully this was helpful to you guys if you are interested in seeing more videos from busy being jen which i post an awful lot please hit the subscribe button in the space below and youtube will let you know when i upload new videos i'd love to have you come along and follow me on this channel and i hope i'll see you again take care you guys bye bye